Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. Because after everything I've experienced today, I really wanted to go down to the beach. And there's no question about it, guys. The worst is yet to come for the economy. And we have not seen anything yet, guys. Uh, there's so much to cover right now. Before I get into it, Please take a second, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, don't forget we've got an email list. And uh, also we have a sponsor today, Private Internet Access VPN. I'll talk about them a little later. First things first, everything right now is finally coming to light when it comes to the stock market and how bleak everything is. And the reality is setting in that retail is in massive trouble. Now, here's the thing. You cannot hide from the fact that everything in the stock market is dropping an absolute ton. The beginning, okay? You're seeing companies like Target. You're seeing companies like Walmart get absolutely clobbered. Now, I don't care if you shop there or not. It makes no difference. These companies are well-run companies. These companies have absolutely done everything they can to be profit centers and to make a lot of money for their shareholders. And you know what? It's coming to an end, guys. And the problem with Target is that Target comes out and says that they're making half the profit on their earnings than they've made in the past. And why is this important? Because the supply chain issues are finally taking major toll on companies like Target. What you're seeing is a lot of retailers have done this. A lot of companies have done this. They've tried to keep pricing as fixed as they could during this time. And they've absorbed some of the costs that they've had during all the supply chain mess over the last two years. The problem with that is you can't do it anymore. And it's taken a huge toll. When you look at a target, and the one thing that's fascinating here in Southern California, we've all been to those huge target stores and they're absolutely massive. But what they're doing is they're starting these mini stores. And these mini Target stores are basically, like for example, they took over a Steinmart. Steinmart went bankrupt last year and Target took over one of those stores. And it's about, I'd say half the size of a regular Target. Great location, great store, really clean. They have basically all the merchandise that you have in a big Target, but less. But the one thing that they have is massive amounts of employees inside this place. And they've got to have people buy, you know, as much as they can when they walk in the store. When you are dealing with online retailers or stores, the cart, okay, the expression of the cart transfers over to retail as well. How much is the average transaction? Well, the, here's the problem. It's going down right now. People are walking into places like Target and not just saying, oh, I'm just gonna buy whatever. They're not doing that. They're buying exactly what they need. This has taken a huge toll. Target's profit is down an absolute fortune a ton right now. And Walmart's down a ton. Target's stock yesterday went down 25%. And uh, this is the beginning. You're seeing companies get absolutely clobbered right now. Now, here's the next thing. What other retailers gonna go out of business? Uh, Bath and Body Works is having problems with their money. I gotta be honest with you. The idea of going to buy soap, Bath, Body Works from a store, I think it's done. I don't know how stores like Sephora, which I'm not a woman, I don't buy makeup, never had the need to. I don't know how stores like that make money right now. And do you need to have a store that's just dedicated with 4,000 square feet to makeup? Now, Every woman I know loves that store, but how is that gonna survive right now? So, you're seeing these stores get clobbered right now. JC Penney's, the rumor is JC Penney's is gonna file bankruptcy again within the next week. Again, I was like, oh, JC Penney's is still open? Yeah, they are. And you know what, they filed bankruptcy, and I think it was May of 2020, Exited bankruptcy, I believe, uh, about close to a year later. And now it looks like 
problem's gonna happen all over again, guys. So who else is gonna go out of business right now? Dollar Tree just announced their earnings. They got clobbered. Dollar Tree is no longer the Dollar Tree. It's the Dollar 25 tree. And that has taken a huge toll on everything. Let's talk about our sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. Now, one thing that we talk a lot about on the channel is internet security and to be safe, stay away from hackers, watch your banking information and everything we do to protect ourselves. The best thing that you can do is to get a private internet access VPN. It operates with the click of one button, you turn it on and you're surfing the web completely anonymous. Hackers cannot see where you're going, they cannot see your passwords, they cannot see keystrokes, they cannot see anything that you're doing. It's amazing. They've had over 30 million downloads they have uh, servers in over 70 countries. And the cool thing about this is that they have an amazingly low price right now for I Allegedly subscribers, where if you sign up, they will give you up to 82% off and you can have uh, private internet access VPN for as low as $2.11. It's absolutely amazing. The one thing that I am totally excited about that they threw in was the uh, email breach. If your email's been breached, you can check to see if it's, uh, uh, had any problems in the past so you can check that out but sign up today for private internet access vpn use the code i allegedly and save up to 82 percent you're starting to see experts come out of the woodwork and talk about how bad things are going to get and uh, we haven't seen anything yet now mohammed alarian who's one of the top economists in the world has stepped forward and said that we're gonna have stagflation and that it's gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, guys, I'm telling you this right now. I do not believe any of the numbers. I don't believe the unemployment numbers. I don't believe the inflation numbers. I believe nothing. But let me tell you what stagflation is. Stagflation is high inflation, uh, high unemployment, and low demand. Now, here's the thing that's gonna happen in the economy that nobody wants to look at and that is that you're going to see demand get clobbered with retail. You're going to see companies of every type of industry get affected by this. Now, in the past, you've seen things like healthcare that have been that have made it through and never had a problem. You've seen things like uh, uh, shipping that has generally not had a problem. That's going to get destroyed right now. You're going to see industries like insurance apps get destroyed destroyed right now. People are gonna sit down and decide, what can we do without honey so that we can eat and have food on the table? That's what's gonna happen right now. So the problem with this is all these companies out there that have, they say great employment, you know, think about this. We're supposed to believe in unemployment's at 4%. That is an absolute lie right now. The person that is most in danger right now of losing their job, and there's going to be massive layoffs that are going to be coming in waves in the next 60 and 90 days. And again, this isn't, oh, Dan, let's just talk doom and gloom. No, get ready, guys. Get ready because you're going to see companies that you thought were impervious to this stuff get destroyed. Entertainment, done, guys. The entertainment industry is completely going to be affected by this like it never has. The idea with streaming is that streaming was going to be the end off for the industry. It was going to make it so that it would never have a problem. Well, even people are cutting back on Netflix. They're sick of this stuff right now and they don't want to deal with any of this. But here's the person that's most in danger of losing their job right now. And that is middle managers right now. People in the middle management of companies, they're going to do without these people. They're going to cut them back like you've never seen before. And you can sit there and say I'm crazy. I have people that write me and they tell me, you know, we have savings, we have money, we have this, we want to buy a new house. My husband is middle management of this company and I've seen these people already start to lose their jobs. It's going to happen more and more and more in the coming months. But those people, companies are going to do without. The lower end workers, people that work at the grocery stores, people the baristas, they're going to have jobs. They're going to get cut back on the amount of hours that they're going to have, but they're going to have a job during this time. Higher in management, the rich people, they're going to be fine, guys. They always do. But here's the thing. With the meetings I had today, it was fascinating because I dealt with two different entrepreneurs that never met each other, but their plan, I'm telling you, I could have set them. It's like they listened into the conversations and said, hey, let's talk about the same thing uh, with Dan. And that is that they're both 
what can I do to make more money with what I'm already doing? In other words, what else can I, what other stream of income can I get right now to make more dough? And that's what people are doing. You have to look at this. I am telling you this right now, guys. Last chance. Used car prices are dropping, but the car industry is getting completely destroyed. The financing for cars is going to get destroyed. They cannot get this stuff done. They're talking about how Freightways Magazine is talking about the fuel prices and how it is going to destroy the independent trucker, but the supply chain issues that we've had will never be the same again. We will never go back to normal. And any semblance of normal will take 10 years. Well, guys, if you think that we are in a recession right now or we're heading to a recession, you are kidding yourself. This is depressionary times, and I am telling you this right now, Look at what happened in 2008 and buckle up because this is gonna be good compared to that. Now, what can you unload right now? Seriously, sell it, get rid of it. One of the people I met said, oh, I got the motorcycle I never ride. Get rid of it, man. Somebody's gonna go buy that thing right now because they have money to get rid of it. So what can you do right now to take advantage of this? Because it's happening. Right now we're seeing impending, uh, pending mortgage applications fall off the cliff, guys. Well, why is that, Dan? The real estate market's doing so well. It's not doing well. You're going to see so many tracks not get completed. I don't just say this stuff, I research everything. Everything in my videos has a story tied to it, okay? Take a look at the video description below and you'll see all this stuff, but get ready, guys because we have not seen the worst yet. Crime is at an absolute high right now and it's getting worse. People's fuses are so short right now, it is absolutely crazy. And you're going to see people completely lose it. A friend of mine was in a Starbucks the other day and a guy walked in and said he wanted to beat somebody. And uh, just in line, just thinking about beating some people up today. Now. <laughs> other people would have handled that differently and everybody was kind of put off by this I was not there and uh, needless to say I know of other people that would have handled this much differently uh, than the way she handled it and the way that the Starbucks employees handled it I I'm sure the Starbucks employees were more concerned about unionizing than they were their own safety but uh, story for another day so share your thoughts on all this stuff guys because it's escalating in every aspect of it. We don't have proper leadership. We don't have anybody in charge of the ship right now. It's not happening. And if you don't see that, you're kidding yourself. So, show your thoughts, guys. Let me know. Another day, another Elon Musk story. And uh, he was at a conference called All In in Miami that he attended virtually. And he used to talk a lot about California and how it was the greatest state to build a business in. And now he says there's three things that have absolutely destroyed California. It's the taxes, it's over-regulation, and it's the litigation that you get here in this wonderful state uh, from everybody. People are sick of this. It doesn't matter what it looks like, People are fed up with this. Here's something that's completely fascinating. This area right here is absolutely stunning. This area is a no, no swimming zone. Can't go off there and swim. They will bring you in and write you a ticket. That's a surfing area only, which is incredibly dangerous, guys. I mean, it's got some rocks out there. It is just absolutely one of those things that is, <laughs> I mean, the waves are really big today, but beautiful. But man, I wouldn't go out there to save my life because of getting slammed down and hitting the rocks. And the tide's kind of in today, so a lot of the beach that's normally, you know, you don't see, you see today. We're hearing a lot of stories about inflation around the world. And one thing that's absolutely fascinating is out of the UK. The UK just announced that their inflation hit 9%. 
which is nonsense. If you look at any comment on this video from anybody from the UK, they will tell you that it's much higher. They're talking about how the British pound has just taken a 1% hit and uh, it, you know it may go down even more, but wait a second. Inflation is not at 9%. It's the highest G7 uh, uh, inflationary spike that they have of all the countries. Here in the States, we only have 8.3%. There's an article from The Independent that is ridiculous because again, inflation is much higher than any of these people want to admit. Unemployment's much higher than anybody wants to admit. And this is only going to get worse. When you have companies like Target that are trying to keep the dam shut and Walmart and places like that, that they have buying power that you and I will, will, will never have. I, for one, had a very strong relationship with Walmart. I went to Walmart twice. Went, you fly in and you go to, you know, you have to go to Bentonville, take a car, it takes forever to get there. It's in the middle of nowhere. And uh, again, man, having that account was absolutely amazing. It really was. But I think you fly into Fayetteville and then you drive to Bentonville. I think that's how it works, but somebody will let me know what the nearest airport is, but it's nowhere near anything. The one thing that was amazing also was we went to the five and dime store that Sam Walton had set up in this small little town. And I'm telling you, it was as big as somebody's living room. It was not a huge location by any means. So to see that and see how that worked out was amazing. But to see how they purchase things, to see how they would pay for things, follow our rules, okay? It's that simple. But when they're having problems, the smaller retails guys have no chance, zero. And the problem with it is the average person right now is borrowing to the hilt. And I don't care where you live, this is gonna be depressionary. And again, warning after warning after warning after warning, okay? You just had them. The real estate industry is hurting so badly because right now, think about this, interest rates are at the highest level in the last 13 years. But honey, we've gotta go get a house. Think about this, you've seen appreciation in the last two years that you haven't seen in 10 years but you wanna go buy a house right now. I'm telling you, wait, 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 wait. The deals will be out there. There will be so many tracks that will not be completed and the stuff that's pouring into me, the contractors that are not getting paid, the jobs that are not getting completed, the slow pain from the builders is happening on a weekly basis and it's only escalating right now. So as that's happening, things are only gonna get worse. And again, more and more people are going to go out of business during this time. You're going to see that. Now, what's it like near you guys? I get so many people that write me and tell me how great everything is and, and uh, you know, nothing to worry about here. Here's a great article out of Fortune magazine that's below, and it talks about overheated markets, markets that are higher priced than they should be. That's down below. Well, why would we have that? Why would we be concerned about that if everything's going to be okay? Because it's not. It's not okay. Prep, get yourself food, get rid of your debt, guys. Anything you can do to unload that and pay bills off right now, get rid of it. If you can sell that extra car, motorcycle, toy, the golf clubs that you don't use, unload it now. I'm telling you, do it while you can. Do it because, because people have money right now. That's the other thing is that people are cutting back on everything. You're seeing golf club, uh, golf uh, course memberships being cut back people are spending less money on that and again the elite that have money are buying people are saying oh the Chinese are gonna buy all our houses it's not gonna happen guys it's just not gonna happen you're gonna see things that are gonna have to drop but you're going to see massive evictions you're gonna see massive foreclosures coming in uh, the next six months it's absolutely going to happen so you know share your thoughts on this stuff guys let me know what you think Look at that. I'll get a little closer for you guys. I like coming down here when the tide comes in because the stairs get washed away. It's still fairly low right now, so it's not high really by any means. It's just starting to come in right now, which is really a cool spot to see. But uh, look at all these rocks, guys. This continues out to where the surfers are. This is not easy these guys are obviously very skilled surfers to be out in water like that look at the kelp beds out there too that's got a tremendous amount of wildlife if you could ever get a kayak and go out there and get a fishing pole man would you catch some great fish out there 
see a lot of times we'll see seals swim out there a lot of cool stuff like that couple things that are fascinating with the economy, we always talk about uh, making money in different ways. Uh, Fashion United is a website that I stumbled across that had different news on different retailers. And a fantastic article is talking about how people can make money selling uh, used clothing and rese uh, reselling clothing. They're talking about how this industry is going to double in value between now and 2026. So again, ways to make money, guys. People are going to buy used clothes. Uh, you know, I know a lot of women that go to the uh, thrift stores. Again, I always recommend you go to the higher areas, high, higher end areas, because they have better stuff, in my experience. But you're going to see this completely catapult in the near future. Remember the name Martin Scarelli, Farmer Bro? Okay, this guy had a seven year prison sentence. And when I first got into the medical space, there were two stories that kind of got everybody's attention. One was this guy because he took a drug called Daraprim and jacked the price of the parasitic drug and he jacked the price of 5,000% because he was a degenerate and made it so that uh, he bought the rights to the drug and made it so that uh, insurance companies would have to pay this and people went without the drug because he's a scumbag, okay? This guy's out of jail now. He got sentenced to seven years, did about five years, but what's fascinating is the guy posts a selfie today that says it's easier to get out of real jail than it is to get out of Twitter jail. So, funny, okay? Share your thoughts on that. Uh, the next thing is, when I got my start in the medical space, that was right when the Theranos thing started to, to fall apart. And I had a bioscientist sit me down at lunch one day at an event. Again, the same event I went to last week, this was like, gosh, 2015, 2016, whenever it was, whenever that fell apart. And he explained to me, right when she started getting accused of things, she wasn't arrested, there was no, no problems yet. And they said, this guy explained to me how it was 100% impossible to do all the blood tests that she was talking about. He didn't care if the machine was a Bentley. It would not do the test that she said. So again, I'm like, well, what do you do? Why don't you say something? Well, they're not going to listen to me. I'm just some scientist guy working for XYZ Medical, but I knew that this would never work. And when I heard this guy's explanation, I knew that she was completely a degenerate. Okay? I wanted to be a Steve Jobs with that voice of hers. Okay? So there's that. Share your thoughts and all this stuff, guys. But check out these waves and check out those surfers out there. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna take these last few stories and wrap them again to finish the video. And first things first is President Biden has invoked the Defense Production Act for the baby formula crisis. Let's hope that this solves it because what it does is it gives manufacturers access to ingredients faster. We'll see if it works. And uh, the next thing is crypto scoff laws. If you guys have not paid your taxes on cryptos, crypt, uh, the IRS has got a new task force and they're coming after you guys. So as you guys report this stuff, they're gonna come after you. But here's where they're gonna catch everybody, and the article's great, is that people that say, I don't have any cryptos, and then they make money on cryptos and they get reported by an exchange, you're done, you're finished, because they're gonna go back and audit you for years with that stuff as soon as they catch you lying on that. The final thing is the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. Have you guys followed this at all, okay? Are you Team Amber, Team Johnny? Do you guys care about this? Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> Amber Heard's acting coach stepped forward and said, Amber always had a problem with fake crying and was never really good at it. And there's a great article below about that, which is kind of funny when you read it. But anyways, um, what side are you on? Team Johnny, Team Amber. Share your thoughts. Do you care or do you not care? Please do not uh, forget to visit our sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. You can sign up below using code I allegedly. 
plus uh don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button uh share it with all your friends and colleagues onward and upward guys i will see you guys very soon okay, okay,